Hey, it's Jack. Let's take a look at what's in the news. There's big NRL news with the Sydney Roosters and the Brisbane Broncos both winning back-to-back premierships in the men's and women's comps. But today, everyone's talking about one controversial part in the Roosters' win. And it all started with this. A change call from the ref that led to some pretty serious confusion on the field. Well, now he called six again. See, the attacking team only has six chances to score each time they get the ball, often called the six tackle rule. But if the other team touches the ball in the air and it goes back to the attackers, well, the ref calls out six again. That's what happened here, apparently. But another ref called it differently, and the decision was reversed. The ball went to Sydney, who scored the winning try minutes later, and Twitter went kind of nuts. The game was neck and neck all the way, and Sydney were too tired to even celebrate at the end. The Roosters are trying to celebrate, but they're worn out. They've won this competition on defence. But it didn't take long until the fans and players were in full party mode. Celebrating the first back-to-back NRL premierships in 21 years. Replacing batteries is usually a piece of cake. Unless you're trying to upgrade the International Space Station, that is. NASA astronauts Christina Cook and Andrew Morgan took a seven-hour-long spacewalk to start replacing the station's ageing batteries. It's the first of five power upgrade missions, which will include the first ever all-female spacewalk between Christina Cook and Jessica Meir on the 21st. Remember this giant, long, floating snake thing designed to trap the ocean's plastic? Well, it's working. Yay! Boyan Slat came up with the idea when he was just 16. Now, eight years later, this 600-metre-long boom is successfully trapping rubbish in the Pacific Ocean, and he couldn't be happier. Nope. Not mine. Now to arguably the most exciting competition of the year. I'm talking about Fat Bear Week, where people like you and me get to vote for the chunkiest hunk of a bear. It's um, all about celebrating their hard work leading up to winter hibernation. Check out these before and after pics. In a matter of months, these brown bears stack on the kgs by doing lots and lots of eating. And, well, not much else, really. Unfortunately for these guys, they're in high demand. And no match for a big hungry bear. Ah, they just jumped right into that one. Anyway, winter is coming here at Katmai National Park in Alaska. And that means soon these chunky boys are going into hibernation. That's like a massive five to eight month long snooze. While they're snoozing, they'll lose about a third of their body weight. So it's super important they get nice and fat beforehand. To celebrate their transformations, employees at the National Park have been asking people to vote by liking pics of the fattest bear. Bears get eliminated each round. And of course, only one can be crowned the fat bear of them all. Until next year. There's some tough competition, but I have a feeling 435 Holly might just win in a big way. Now it's time to count your blessings, it's hashtag blessed. What's more of a blessing than having a pet? A pet that's also been blessed. Cats, dogs, budgies, turtles, snakes were among the dozens of pets sprinkled with holy water at a special mass held in the Philippines. It was to honor St. Francis of Assisi, also known as the patron saint of animals. Check out these very impressive entries at the UK Cake and Bake Show. This year's theme is illusion cakes, basically cakes that don't look like cakes, which explains the toad jumping out of a casserole dish, these very cheeky looking monkeys, and the UK PM, Boris Johnson. This one has been a total labour of love, but I've not been conservative with the chocolate. There is loads and loads of chocolate in him. He's one tasty politician. Wow, whoever gets to eat these cakes at the end is seriously blessed and full of sugar. And the internet has been blessed with this very adorable video of Prince George cheering on his favourite soccer team, Aston Villa. Oh, too cute. Well, that's all we've got for you today, but make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot of cool content coming.